Hello, my name's Rebecca Thomas. I'm a neonatologist and the current head of department at Perth Children's Hospital Neonatal Unit. If your baby's diagnosed with a condition that requires treatment at the Children's Hospital here in Perth, they will be admitted to our unit. Your baby will come via the NETS WA transport team. When your baby first arrives, they will be admitted to the intensive care end. And as your baby gets better, they will be moved down to the lower dependency end where they'll be getting ready to go home. This is the typical setup of a bed space in the intensive care unit. Initially, it can look quite scary to parents because there's an awful lot of tubes and leads. However, be reassured that these are just keeping your baby safe and they're very normal. If your baby's particularly sick or they've had surgery, they may come back on a ventilator such as this. And what this means is that your baby actually has a tube into the lungs that is helping them to breathe until they're ready to do it for themselves. There's also many monitors that again are just keeping your baby safe and it's a way that we know that we're doing the right thing. A couple of other things that you might need to know. Because your babies here are so vulnerable, hand hygiene is extremely important, both for staff and visitors. And that's something that we will teach you when you get here. The other thing is that once your baby is born, please start to pump milk so that when your baby is well enough, we will be able to feed them your milk. Ask your midwives about how to do this. Babies' journeys in our unit can be anything from one day to weeks or even months occasionally. I'd like to reassure you that when your baby stays with us, that we will always take the best possible care of them and you, the family.